wants the play part. Me! Yeah. The girl did that to you? Ooh. What the? What the uh. heck? Dude! you a baby good morning seekers I'm glad you found us today it is Saturday and we are not going grocery shopping today I bet you're shocked <laughs> we will give you a more of an update about that on our next video but suffice it to say we've decided that shopping weekly is not working for us so we will give you a budget update next video but today we are just going to be showing you the kids are starting their big year for the Shakespeare um I don't even know what to call it but they have a class called Shakespeare in action and tonight they will be putting on a little play for us and like getting us pumped up and excited about Shakespeare season it's also dance competition season but Shakespeare season also is in full swing in the spring which also makes it complicated <sighs> But you know what? It's the best time of the year anyway. I'm so looking forward to spring. I'm so tired of January. I want to get rid of January already. I'm like so done. But we do have a lot of budget updates we want to give you that we will give you in the next video. And we'll let you know how things are going with that. And I'll give you a spoiler. They're going okay. So there's that. But yeah, we're going to see you later on this afternoon. Hey. What? It takes 20 minutes. and We have to be there in 10. I'm fixing my hair with my... No, don't fix your hair. Go into the car. Jasper, you about ready? Come on, bud. He can't get his shoes on. Still? Oh, I can't even. What the heck are you guys doing? No, it's dead. What the heck? Why? You gotta kill somebody? Chasing Ruby, okay. Sitting, tying your shoe. Alrighty then. Whoa! You okay? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Not really. Nothing left where the footprint stand. Roads are ahead under scarlet sand. <laughs> what are you doing? The sky. He keeps running into the mat thing. I feel my moment and breathe it in. Search for skies that begin it in. Close my eyes so I can see the light. What do you mean blood vessel? Show me that again. What 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 happened? Oh, there's a goober. What? That's the girl did that to you? Ooh. What the? What the uh. heck? Dude! What, what happened? No. That is actual, like, that looks like her clothes. The heck was she wearing? What were you wearing? What? What was it? Blood vessels in a line, mm -hmm. Blood, but don't break in a line like that unless something in a line is pushing on them. So you never actually got her up there? Well, then you'll help me. Did anyone videotape it? 
Ah! Oh, what's wrong with you people? Yeah, you are. It's his shirt seams. The girl sat on his shoulder and broke his blood vessels on his shirt seams. What is that face? He's like, why are you talking about that, Mom? Nobody got it on video. <laughs> Guys, look what Ginger just brought me. How cute are these? <laughs> this other side is good, too. <laughs> Not kid-friendly. <laughs> She got him for my birthday and she just never got him until now. Isn't that cute? Hi. Super cute. What? what are you doing? Hey. Don't mess with my, those are mine. Some food and some bubbly. Nice. Bubbles. <laughs> I got my food. Hey there, ma'am. You okay there? Meatballs are great. No, I mean Ruby. Oh. <laughs> Jasper, do you want me to cut that up for you, man? Okay, good. Sure? She likes the meatball. Good. Well, at least you twisted it up on your fork. You tried there, man. It's your um, bandana. So scoot over here real fast. Um, Finn, why don't you tell everybody one of the things that you had to do to earn some of your rank? Uh, we had to do writing assignments every week. Very good. What was your, um, what was the writing assignment that you remember? Uh, we had to do a poem. Oh, oh yeah. No. That was fun. Your poem was awesome, too. Okay. <laughs> Woo! To earn your rings that you got. Very cool. Did you actually watch a movie about Civil War? Maybe. <laughs> hey! <laughs> she thought you were asleep, man. Aren't you asleep? Were you asleep? <laughs> Our play is called Mr. Lear. Come here. <laughs> Tell your father how much you love him. Daddy, I love you so much. I will lick your shoelaces after you step in a muddy puddle. In fact, if there is a puddle right here, I would have you step on it just so I could have the honor, no, the privilege of licking your shoelaces. That's how much I love them. Son, you're going to leave right now. Well, I don't want to go, but I also don't want to get iced. <laughs> um, uh, Mr. Lear, if I may uh, say, you should not have banished your son. Uh, Francesco, take him away. Yes, Mr. Lear. Armando! Ah, uh, my brother Antonio. He thinks he is the boss of me. I have a plan to change that. Mr. Lear wants some ravioli and some cannoli. Make it quick. Oh, hey, Antonio. I heard our father, Francisco, uh, he's planning on icing you this afternoon. What? Yeah. This can't be. He loves me just as much as Mr. Lear loves his son, Carlo. The spaghetti you sent out last night? He said it was watery. <laughs> I should have tasted it before I sent it out. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll make, I'll make the cannoli. Mr. Lear, you go high, all right? I got this. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, three. One. Uh, all right, are you kicking the bucket? Uh, no. How do you like that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Mr. Lear, I'm so glad I found you. You're so through. Come, come sit by my fire. Let me get you something to eat. I will. Hello. For some ravioli. Well, I'm all out of ravioli, but, um, I can 
get you some, uh, some, some Twinkies? something nice for Mr. Lear. He's been out in the rain and needs something warm to eat. The name's Big G. <laughs> Nonsense, Mondo. Come on home. You should really call me Big G. Stop. Gabriel, you should, you should come too. Your father is at my place and I've been taking care of him. You've been what? Where? What? Don't you see what you've done? Well, I think it's time you didn't see any more at all. Get him, Gabriel. We will never see again. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. You better not take that blindfold off. Why? Or else. Can't? Yeah, that's what we just said. You better not show your face around here ever again. Okay, well, hello there. What? Who goes there? Oh, it's me. It's your son. Antonio. Antonio? Yeah. Come here. Um, there's a, there's a bucket around here somewhere. I need you to find it for me. Oh, it's uh, to your, your left, about three feet in front of you. There it is. All right, now. Okay. What, what, what you gonna do with that bucket there, Dad? Well, I'm gonna put it right here in front of my foot. Why are you gonna do that? Well, just take a step back and you'll find out. All right, I took a step back. You're all ready. Ow! Oh. Man, you're the only guy I've ever seen that ah. has kicked a bucket and lived to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, uh, say, Pops, why are you wearing that blindfold? Oh, Mr. Lear and his son, they, they told me not to take it off. Why not? I said, or else. Oh, very right, serious. <laughs> Come on, Pops, let's get you home and we'll take care of that foot of yours. Why are you here? Me and the Gabriel were just taking a little walk. Yeah. I see you're not hiding anymore. Aren't you scared of that? No. Oh, why's that? Because I came here to find you. Well, why'd you? Well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> why not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I found out you lied to me about father. What? What? Does lying sound like something I would do? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll have. All right, let's fight. Choose your weapon. It's nerf or nothing. <laughs> You're <laughs> diabolical. <laughs> I never thought it would end like this. I always imagined myself dying in some sort of cooking-related accident. <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with the cannoli, eh? Yes, he is very 
very close to dying. Clement, he was right, and that I'm sorry. <coughs> and <laughs> tell Gabriel to stop licking shoelaces. That's real gross. <laughs> we will be doing the Merry Wives of Windsor. And yeah. Yeah. so our theme will be um, like college towns. So the Merry Wives will be from, you know, Dwight U. So in our play we have um, 12 characters or 12 kids. Who wants their play part? I do. Oliver. Whoa, whoa, right. wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, guys, who wants? That play part me. I I've seen Boy Scouts more excited than you guys, but I'm a Boy Scout. If anyone wants the part, I've seen Cub Scouts. Okay, then that that's that's okay. Oliver High. Oliver High. Oh boy. Stay. in the bathroom bud I'm sorry I'm not feeling good should have known when you fell asleep that you weren't feeling good do you zipping up your coat wow good job do you need some help okay I'll help you came over here to check out this is where Sullivan says he's getting married or having his reception it's bigger than I thought and the tables are movable I don't know it's hard to film it we just wanted to see if the tables are bolted down and they don't appear to be bolted, so. And it's bigger than we thought and simpler than we thought, so at least there's that. It's rustic looking, at least, so there's something. And there's a few trees around that we could use for decorating. Let's see. I'm asleep. 